to be sorry, you are like, it's nothing you have control over. And so Mirka says in response to that, Yeah. No, 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 no. Um. He, uh, he just says, after a while, he, he says, when I get like that, I'd appreciate if you wouldn't let me talk. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah. I, I lay there for the rest of the night. That's good. I mean, he does too. So, that's a little awkward. See, you know, it's normal for me because he doesn't sleep. Yeah, I, uh, I don't want to sleep. Alright. So, uh, Mirka notices that you're not going to bed. And he, uh, he starts talking to you. What's he saying? Uh, hey. Hmm. Let's to remove... One percent of your uh, suicidalness. Hey. Wait, no, I don't need to, because he doesn't see Kichi anymore. Oh, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Now he's just fucking uh, losing his mind. Yeah, now he's just losing his mind. And there's nothing you can do a fucking thing about it. Yeah. Literally nothing. That's yeah, really good. That's yeah. really good. Uh, you can sit, and you can watch your, uh, your good friend uh, forget. My only friend. His whole life. I would have cried. I would have cried so badly. So much. Um, yeah, okay, I just, I wait till morning. Alright, so I mean in the morning, um, Mirka kind of gets up. He asks if you're hungry. Yeah, sure. He, uh, he goes... And, so, you know, this, this, this makes it even better for playing Mirka, because, like, <laughs> now I forget where we are in the middle of the fucking sentence, so I, uh, it makes it authentic. <laughs> Me too. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, I'm working. Um, no. Um, 
okay. Yeah, I, uh, I want to check on the fox. How is she doing? Oh, yeah, the fox is awake. It's it's sort of kind of like trying to limp around the room. I but it just, uh... It can't. It's, uh, it's like it's really injured. Yeah, I, it, it I, uh... kind of just ends up dragging itself. God, that poor thing. I, um... <laughs> You're right, we should kill it and put it out of its no. misery. I'm killing everyone except for your character. Literally everyone. To teach you a moral le lesson. <laughs> You're right. God, how do I want to do full time? Yeah, yeah. You just, you don't. You're right. At this point, I am tempted not to. I, hey, no, no, friend, don't do that. You want me to share screens? Yeah, do that, and I'll let you draw, and, uh, you won't actually play D&D. &D. Uh, I'll just, yeah, no, it'll be really good. Let's play, let's, yeah, let's not. Uh, but you're right, you're right. I, um, okay, I kind of, I crawl out of bed, you know, slide down onto the floor. And I, uh, I hold my hand out towards it. Towards the box. It, uh, it, it, it sees you. And, um... I mean, it acknowledges you're there, but it doesn't really do anything much besides that. Okay, I, uh, I scoot, 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 scoot co closer to it. c c, -c closer to it. Maybe you want to Oh, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> You're right. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I, sco I scoot closer to it. Um. They. They kind of just have some, like, bread, and then it's like. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, Jaden. Do you want to go to sleep? No, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. I... The f... Yeah, no, the... Fuck, it's a fox! Yeah, what is it? What it... Do? It's it's struggling. I'm struggling. You're right. We all we all are. Hey, that's uh -huh. a pretty good ear. Wait, hold on to me. Hey, you're right. Hey, Jaden, you wanna know what my ATP is? I like, uh, I like, I like, Baki and, uh, Sai. Simon? Baki and Simon are the best. They're so gay. Yeah, they're... They're so gay, Alana. I love them so much. I'm sorry, did I, did I say them? I mean, uh, I meant... You know, you want to die. And, <laughs> see, I was like, I'm gonna say Nitrimin Seto, but no. Oh, no. Nitrimin uh, <laughs> Yeah. No. Nitrimin, uh... Since, have since, some, uh, they have some since that one makes you want to die, I guess uh, Nitrim and Martin instead. OTP. Uh, no, no. Nitrim and Seto have some problems that I usually don't, uh, I just kind of hint at. They have some trust issues together. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At least on Nitrim's side, Seto trusts him up until, uh, you know, a certain point. Yeah, I uh, I love reading Martin time because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good time, especially since I'm typically like sleep deprived at school and shit like that. It's really good. It is. It is.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it lets you. I kind of hold my hand out for it. No. Uh, one of the heads kind of leans forward and kind of sniffs at your hand a little bit. It, uh, it kind of pushes its head, like its, like, muzzle, like, into your hand. That's adorable. I love it already. Yeah, the other head is just kind of like, whoa, just fucking stop that. I'm the other head. You're so on the other head. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, not that way. Those lines are way too big, but it's uh it's good. I'm the lines. Me too. Um Okay, I uh yeah, I kinda Alright, cool. So you, you pet this fucking fox. Yeah, I do. I and I love it. One of them is starting to enjoy your company. That's good. Um, finally Mirka comes back and he's holding kinda like the uh the real meal. Hey, I get real food. I'm a real mm -hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. My elbow hurts all of a sudden. Like, it really hurts. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. I, uh, I try to eat. Hmm? <laughs> what? Yeah, I thought so. I try to eat. I... Oh, okay. I mean... W would you get sick? I mean, I don't feel good. Oh right, yeah, fine. Roll Constitution Saving Throw. Okay. There was dust on my phone. That's not right. Why is there a keyboard thing? Why is the keyboard here? Alana, help. <laughs> Alana, it's here. I don't... <laughs> I think I'll help. Okay, it's better. Alright. Oh, God. Uh, that's an eight. Yeah, you're correct. Hmm. Mm hmm. Correct. About an what? I got an eight. You got an eight? Yeah, so uh, you sp you feel your start starting to throw. Yeah, that's 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 good. Um, yeah, I try to I try to rush out of the room. I don't. I don't yeah. I uh. Yeah, I mean you don't get very far before you start puking. Yeah. Mirka, Mirka's brought you a thing. He's rubbing your back and shit. It's real good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, okay, I just, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm not having a good time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, um, mm -hmm. What time is it? Oh my god, it's only 11.16! Why am I so tired? I don't know, Alana. If you want to sleep, you can. No. Like, I mean, I'm not stopping you. There's nobody on the screen right now. <laughs> no. I... Alright, then get up and do some jumping jacks or something to wake yourself up. Fuck that. 
God, I fucking... Bladder. It helped a slight bit, but I still like that. No, I'm sitting up now. Why did I say... I meant sitting up. You know, I'm just standing in the middle of my room. Not even in your... in, like, the room part. Just on your bed. Yeah, just on... Hey! You know what's fun about St. Genevieve, besides the cemetery? Mm -hmm. All the really nice houses down there. Yeah. Like, uh, when we went down for the, uh... <gasps> Jaden, you know what we should fucking do? What? Fuck, wait, no, you'll be on a cruise. God damn it. Mm, yeah. I love Heritage Festival so much down there. It's so nice. They do the, like, night walk during the like for the cemetery and shit. It's just so cool. I want to take someone down there someday. I just love it so much. I, uh... Oh, God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Oh, God. I don't want to do the time show. <gasps> hey. Hmm. The Anvil has really good food. They have clown pictures. Dude, nice. <laughs> just, like, a shit ton of them, like, all over. I love the Anvil. The Anvil's my aesthetic. Yeah, they have these, like, really good onion rings, too. <gasps> There's this playground, and it's, like, up at- Just- God, Jaden, I love St. Genevieve so much. I really hope we get to go tomorrow. <gasps> that would just be- That would make my, uh, week. Yeah. Yeah. I- <laughs> Yeah. I have to zone out. Understandable. Uh, this is really good because I'm still like, uh. Yeah. So everyone, like, the, the zero people watching right now can just, um. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Streaming was a mistake, Jaden. Understandable. I'm about to pass the fuck out. You're zoning out. It's all really good. It is. It's really good. I uh, I think I've kind of noticed the cycle. It's just I can go like one night, like all fucking night, but then like the next, I just I gotta sleep. <laughs> but then after I sleep, I'm fine and I can continue on. And it's just really good. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I get sick. Yeah, you get sick, I get sick. Oh, we're all sick. It's... You're right. I have so many fucking, like, towels in my room that, like, my parents are gonna be like, Oh, where are the fucking dish rags? And they're just gonna walk in, and then they're all gonna be in here. My parents are gonna... Cut me. Me too. Mm hmm. Me too. Mm hmm. Jaden, I can't keep coherent thoughts. You can go to sleep. I. Yeah, you say that, <laughs> but I'm not keeping it there. I'm just gonna start you the think? stream. I. You have school tomorrow? No, I don't. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Uh, as long as you promise me to get a good night's sleep, Mister. If you don't, I'll, uh, I'll be very upsetty. Yeah, alright, you can just check the screen later. I will. I, uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep now, cause I gotta get up at 5.30 and take a shower, 
So I look all nice, just in case, you know, we do have a good time. <laughs> also, I'll need to wake myself up, because getting out of bed is a drag. I told Amisha, I was like, even when I am getting proper sleep, I'm dead fucking tired. And she was like, hey, it's because you got this fun thing called depression. <laughs> it's, I love Namisha. She's, she's a good person. I, I need to sleep. I, good, good night, my good friend, Jaden. Good night. Good night. Just your mind, so be hot and Mr. Cash and nothing more than myself. Do I dare admit the thoughts sought to vote in the zone? You directed mourning for the part of me that you selfless but left without a warning. Well, that's what I said, but maybe it's the fact that I detest this obsession with myself that leaves a mess inside my head. Oh shit, I'm doing it again. Repelling any potential friend, revealing my innate ability to never fully comprehend. Me just digging at myself, but in the end, I'll still pretend. I'm just telling you I'm polite enough to cheat and offend. They're kind, watching me as I grieve my secret social mission. Graying people with my boring stories and opinions To see the bigger picture takes intelligence and wisdom But I won't see nothing, it's just myself and my vision
try and quit the place if I'm willing. You can crash to any empathy and with me incessant means of finding any pleasure through heavenly breathing so sweet. Leaving a rope and light to give affection and tend tending to the dwell. Soothing over much connection perfected by my perceptions that I'm not entity. Project my insecurity until intensity is weaponry. Breathing a heavy affliction that perceived while I was dreaming awake. Squeezing reason fundamentally I'm still believing that this is an elegy for concepts I perceive from deep sleep. Then I helplessly watch them fade while I awake to try and keep them alive. Sing some parables of life where eventually they die in the brain I used to cultivate with ills my lovers were alive. <laughs> Find a way to replicate reality through lucid dreaming. I decimate the limitations of actuality. It's absolutely practically eternal. My palate is external. No god, but I investigate the blasphemous worship of the nocturnal and killing existing without morality. Create profanity without the travesty and compared to the apathy of illness, I reveal my own insanity. The majesty of fantasy protects me from tragedy. Normality perfects project the agony of rationality, but thanks to it penetrates to no avail to my own reality. Elaborately designed, privately owned, a spiral galaxy. Financially, I'm failing, naturally the same. Soon I'll have no place safe to sleep, the result is only pain. Explain the cravings of open eyes to something mind expanding, for when I drift away I see the totality of understanding. Yeah. to die in a lake in Geneva, the mountains can cover the shape of his nose. He wants to die where nobody can see him, but the beauty of his death will carry on. So I don't believe him. He greets me with kisses when good days deceive him, and sometimes with scorn, and sometimes I believe him, and sometimes I'm convinced my friends think I'm crazy. Get scared and call him, but he's usually hazy. But one in the morning, the day is not ended. By two, he is scared that sleep is no friend, and by four, he will drink, but he cannot feel it. Sleep will not come because sleep does not will it, and I don't believe him. Morning is mocking me. I'll wander the streets, avoiding them each, till the ring on my finger slips to the ground. A gift to the gutter, a gift to the city, the veins of which have broken me down, and I don't believe him. Morning is mocking me. the gods that he believes never fail to amaze me he believes in the love of his god of all things but 
I find him wrapped up in all manner of sins. The drugs that deceive him and the girls that believe him. I can't control you, I don't know you well. These are the reasons I think that you're ill. I can't control you, I don't know you well. These are the reasons I think that you're ill. And since last that we parted, last that I saw him down by a river, silent and hardened. Morning was mocking us, blood hit the sky. I was just happy, my manic and I. He couldn't see me, the sun was in his eyes, and birds were singing to calm us down. And birds were singing to calm us down. I'm sorry, young man, I cannot be a friend. I don't believe in a fairy tale, and I don't keep my head up all of the time. I find it dull when my heart meets my mind, and I hardly know you. I think I can tell. These are the reasons I think that we're ill. I hardly know you. I think I can tell. These are the reasons I think that I'm ill. And the gods that he. Ugly naked truth. She starves me of my youth, and I stand alone until you catch on. I swear it's not by choice, but Anna has this voice, and it calms me down. It gives me purpose, and it's all. I'm all right. I want to be okay. I've seen it before. This eyesore, it's me.
Just like Augusta, your mind filled with hot air, must I care for nothing more than myself? Do I dare admit the fraught thoughts cavorting, resorting in a directed mourning for the part of me that was selfless but left without a warning? Well, that's what I said, but maybe it's the fact that I detest this obsession with myself that leaves a mess inside my head. Oh shit, I'm doing it again, repelling any potential friend, revealing my innate ability to never fully comprehend anything bigger than myself. But in the end, I'll still pretend condescendingly one polite enough to choose to misspend their time watching me as I achieve my secret social. Mission to drain people with my boring stories and opinions. To see the bigger picture takes intelligence and wisdom, but I won't see nothing with just myself in my vision. Side of blitz of faces, I'm willing to confess to any empathy, endlessly, incessantly declining any pleasantries, heavily breathing, socially teething, I'm open like a vivisection, intense tendency to dwell, seething over misconnections, infected by my perceptions that I'm an entity, project my insecurity until intensity is weaponry, grieving a heavenly fiction I perceived while I was dreaming awake, freezing, wheezing, fundamentally I'm still believing that this is an elegy for concepts I conceived in deep sleep, and I helplessly watch them fade while I awake, I try and keep them alive, incomparable with life, but eventually they die. The brain I used to cultivate reveals my lovers were a lie. Inside my mind, I find a way to replicate reality through lucid dreaming. I decimate the limitations of actuality, capacity practically eternal, mortality external. No god, but I investigate the blasphemous worship of nocturnal, internally existing without morality. Creates profanity without the travesty, and compared to the apathy of realness, I reveal my own insanity. The majesty of fantasy protects me from tragedy. Normality's effects reject the agony of rationality, but thankfully penetrates with no avail to my own reality. An elaborately designed, privately owned spiral galaxy. Financially, I'm failing, naturally decaying. Soon I'll have no place safe to sleep, these bills still need paying Displaying cravings of open eyes for something mind expanding For when I drift away I see the totality of understanding And tempting all the steps to follow closer right behind is it only when you feel the part is empty that it's gnawing at the core 